Hi everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we are going to learn how to reference your scan data to uh, Fusion uh, and to the origin of Fusion so you can work with it a lot easier. Um, it's a nice process, it's yeah, pretty standard and uh, well a lot of people don't know it so I thought I'd make a video of it and show you because I get this question a lot and then I have a video which I can show you. Now as an object uh, to scan I'm using this battery and the reason I made a scan of this battery instead of just using calipers uh, is because this battery has almost no flat sides. Uh, the top side is the only thing that I know that is really flat. Um, all the other places, so this for example, maybe you can see it already, uh, well it's got all kind of strange curves in it. Um, also uh, here on the front, uh, this is not flat. If I hold something which is flat in front of it, you can see I can rotate it. So yeah, it's it's really uh, a nightmare to work on uh, if you want to do it with a caliper. But with scan data it's very easy and I'm going to show you what I can use and what I'm going to use and I'm going to show you by drawing white lines on this battery. So this battery, I know that this point, this point and this point are perfectly flat. So I can use that. Um, I'm sure that uh, everything that lays on that plane will be perfectly flat. Now I also know that here on this side nothing is perfectly flat. But I don't bother because when I'm taking a point over here, a point over here and a point over here, it doesn't matter that there is a curve in it, a curve which is like this, because I'm taking the points at equal distances from the sides. And therefore my reference, uh, which will be the plane that I'm going to create later in Fusion, will be flat uh, and, and will, have, uh, yeah, will be crossing the other plane that I'm going to make over here, and that will work. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here, 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 and here. And uh, again, this is because I know that this isn't flat, but by doing it this way, the plane that we will create will be, uh, yeah, will be good enough to work with. And also, and now my white marker won't be that good for it, I'm going to use this side and on the other side this over here and I will be using that to find the exact center in this battery. I want to know what is the exact center and I want to create an edge over here and want to find the exact center in that edge. So that's what we are going to do in Fusion um, and I'm going to show you a very simple way of working with this scan uh, yeah, to do that. So here we are in Fusion and here we are going to import uh, the mesh file that I made with uh, my Creality scanner, but it doesn't matter what scanner you have, uh, but we are going to import that mesh file. Now there are a few things to know already here. So I'm going to insert a mesh and I'm going to select that one from my computer and now I'm going to insert that Parkside battery over here. But um, this Parkside battery, I've uh, saved it as an OBJ file and I've saved it as an SDL file. Now the more a file is compressed, the more your software will be, uh, will be calculating it while moving it. So, I'm going to take a look at the size, which is 60.6 .6 megabytes for the SDL. I'm also going to take a look at the OBJ, and that's 65.3 megabytes for the exact same file. So this one is bigger. And I'm going to use that bigger file, the OBJ file. So I select that, and it takes a while, and then it will be uh, on the screen. And 
right away you will then notice that I can uh, move this around very easy. And uh, the reason it works that fast is because, well, the software, Fusion, doesn't have to calculate that much uh, when working with this OBJ file. And therefore, I like working with OBJ files. Well, yeah, you can work with SDL files as well, but I like working with OBJs because it makes Fusion more uh, fluid. Now, before we hit OK here, we have to center it and we have to move it to the ground position. And now we hit OK and the part will be imported. Now, the second thing I'm going to do, really, really, really important, is I'm going to select this body over here and I'm going to give this body its own component. So uh, I'm going to uh, change this body here, uh, which is in the unsaved component, to its own component by creating components from body. And to reach this, you will have to right click over here and then go to create components from bodies. So I'll do that. And now you will see that it has its own component, which is very uh, useful. Then the next thing I will do um, is I will go here and right click again and now unground it from its parent. And this is also a very important step uh, because if you don't unground it from its parent, uh, then you will have problems later on when uh, choosing the align tool. Uh, so later on we will have problems if not uh, unground from parent. If you will experience those problems, then you will have to do this later on. So this step can be done now or it can be done later on, but I'll choose to do it now. Now with all this done, I'm going to select this component as the one we are working in. So I'm going to click the mouse on this circle so that the, the point in the middle will be visible and will not be here, but here. And uh, then I'm going to the mesh workspace uh, as we are going to work with the mesh from now on. So here in the mesh workspace, I want to make construction lines on this mesh that I have over here. And those construction lines will be used to reference uh, this to its origin, which you will see is somewhere around here and which is completely not in line with the scan data. So to do that, we first have to go in direct edit mode because we want to work directly on this mesh data. And you can do that in two ways. You can click this direct edit button or you can go to modify direct edit and uh, choose it from there. So it doesn't matter whether you would use this one or what I just did. Now we're in direct edit mode and we have to select the mesh that we want to work with. So now it's changed from color because I clicked on it and I click OK. And now you can see we are in direct edit mode because we have a button here to finish direct editing. And also here we have a box uh, that allows us to finish direct editing, which of course we are not going to do right now. The other thing that shows you that you're now in direct edit mode is that when you use your mouse and hover over the object, you will see uh, that there is a circle on the surface of your object. And this will only be visible in direct edit mode, so you won't have that when you're not uh, yeah, in the good mode. Now, we're not going, going to do anything with this circle, but uh, yeah, just for you to know. Now I'm going to make a few construction planes. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to choose is a plane through three points. I'm going to make a few of them. The first one will be over here. And as I showed you on the, the battery when I drawn the, the white dots on it, uh, is that I know that from here, over there on that side, and over here, this is not perfectly flat. And it shows because, well, you can see that the object is coming through it. So it, it's, uh, yeah, it's going through the plane. But 
I don't care because uh, I just want to have something which is straight enough. I'm going to show you later why I mean this. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So applying true three points and I'm going to select, uh, oh sorry, I had to finish this one. So that one I just finished and now I'm going to uh, playing through three points and I'm going to select the point here, choose the same distance from the side over here, very important, and then choose the center here. And again, you will see that this was not straight. It's, it's really hard to work with this kind of surfaces if you're only using calipers, but luckily we have scan data. So uh, yeah, this is very easy to work with. And now for a plane that we know, uh, that will be the plane on top here. So we're again going to uh, finish this plane, going to construct plane through three points and we'll select a plane which is over here. And for this one, we know that it's a straight thing. So this one is something that we can really use as a, a flat surface. And we are going to do that later on. First, we're going to click OK. Now, I also need some references to the sides, and that is because I need to know what is the middle of this battery, uh, which I've shown you by drawing a white line. So I'm going to make a plane on this side. Now, I told you there was a sticker on it, and it's, it's not really perfect, but I don't really care. So I'm going to make a plane over here, hit OK. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Uh, applying through this, this and this point. Not perfect, but good enough. But now, I'll show you right away. Um, now we can make a mid-plane. Go here to construct mid-plane. And we can select two planes that we want to choose uh, as a reference to have a plane in the middle. And look what happens. We now have a plane over here, this plane, which is in the exact middle of the object. And that one we will need later on. So now we've got these planes as references. Uh, we also need an axis and a point. So I'm going to construct, I'm going to choose an axis through two planes. This plane and this plane. Uh, I could have chosen the, this plane and this plane as well. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it, it matters in what will be the front and what will be the back of the battery later on, but I'll show you that it doesn't matter. So um, I now have an axis, which you can see, this is this, this line over here. That's the axis we now created, because that's the axis through this plane and this plane. And now we want to know what is the exact center of this axis. Well, we're going to construct a point at edge and plane. And we're going to select this uh, axis that we created, and we are going to select this plane. And now we'll show, uh, it will show a point over here, we hit OK, and that's the point that we created uh, that we will use later on to, uh, yeah, to define what is the middle. So now we have done all of this, we have created a plane that we know is perfectly flat, uh, we have created some planes to work on, we have chosen the sides of the battery uh, with planes that we know are not perfect, but it doesn't bother as long as we know what, uh, yeah, what the center of the battery is. Uh, so now we can go to finish direct editing and you can do that over here or over here. It doesn't matter which one you select, but we're now finishing direct editing. And as a result, because we now finished direct editing, we can also go to the solid workspace because we don't need to work uh, in, in the mesh workspace anymore at this moment. Now we'll have the origin. 
and uh, as we know this origin is far from being perfect uh, with this battery but we are going to change that we are going to modify and then uh, align and the thing that we know is perfectly flat was this plane that we created and we want to have that on the XY plane and the XY plane is this bottom plane that you see over here so I'm going to choose the XY plane and if you don't know which one it is well if you hover over it you will see that on the left side uh, it will yeah it will become blue so I'm going to align that and now we have uh, yeah we have done this and we can hit OK the next thing we are going to do is we are going to align this axis so again we're going to modify uh, align this axis to the X plane and now it's important to know what you are doing so we have now uh, uh, yeah, uh, aligned this to the X plane but we have not yet hit OK and now when we go to the front of the battery are we seeing the front of the battery or aren't we uh, well this is the front of the battery so everything is OK if we would have seen the back of the battery then we could have flipped it over here so uh, if the front was not the front but the back then we could have chosen to flip it over here but it's now perfect as it should be and I can hit OK so now when we uh, looking at it from the origin we can see that we have uh, the perfect front we have the perfect right side and we have the perfect top side so we have aligned everything now to the origin but there is one thing which is not okay and that is that the center of the battery uh, which is over here is not the center of the origin so we'll have to do something with that as well and you can't do this with the align tool the align tool won't work here we have to do this with the move command so we are going to choose the move command and now we have to, uh, to, to select what we want to move well we want to move uh, this object uh, we want to move it from point to point so if this was selected for example uh, then you would go over here to point to point because we want to move this point to that point and now we have an origin point and a target point so uh, we have the origin point it's already blue so you, yeah we are now able to select it this is this one and we'll have the target point which is this one and yeah you can select this point and immediately it will do it but you have to hit OK so what we've done now is we have a perfect uh, alignment on the origin where the center of the battery is the center of the origin uh, where it's perfectly yeah, aligned to the front show you here to the left side uh, to the back side the right side and the top side so now we can start working with this file uh, yeah directly in fusion and the way you do that is uh, yeah by by uh, creating your own things on top of this so this was what you had to do to align your scan data uh, in this case it was an obj file but it could also have been a 3mf file or uh, an stl file it's no problem um, and uh, yeah this is the way how you can align that perfectly in fusion uh, yeah so that you can work with it uh, yeah later on I hope this video was very helpful to you uh, if so please give it a like on YouTube because uh, yeah then the algorithm knows that this is a good video and uh, yeah I hope to see you in my next videos I will also make one uh, explaining how to recreate this battery or how to create other things on top of this battery so well yeah, you will see that uh, yeah here on my website see you later bye bye